Hey everyone, Matt here to show you everything you need to know about using your Narbox. In this tutorial, we'll be showing you how to access the media from your camera and back it up. Depending on what card your camera uses, you'll be selecting one of the ports to plug in a card, card reader, or drive. Note that you can only use either of the micro or full USB ports one at a time, not both. And your blue port is your USB 3. Simply take your card or card reader and plug it into the correct slot. Now open our app to the home screen and select the Devices button in the upper corner. You will be directed to the Connected Devices screen. Notice your card's name on the screen and the number of files on each card. You can also toggle between List and Thumbnail View. List will provide faster access to your files and the ability to view files and folders on cards with more than 128 gigs of content, while the Thumbnail View lets you view your files in a file grid. We'll check out the Thumbnail View in this video. Your content is labeled by date and in order from the time it's captured. You will also see a select all option that will expand your collection. We implemented this so you can easily view multiple collections without having to scroll through potentially thousands of thumbnails. One thing to point out is that there are two green tabs saying not backed up in Narbox and backed up in Narbox. Under these tabs, you'll see what media has been imported and what has not been imported to Narbox, making it quicker and easier to determine what remains to be backed up. Let's back up some files. Hit select, choose your best content, or select an entire collection. Then select copy files, Narbox, then OK. Now you can check in on the status of your backup in the task manager window. People often ask if their card will work with the Narbox. We are compatible with all UHS 1, 2, and 3 class SD and micro SD cards. Any compact flash or CFast card can be read via USB 2 or USB 3 card readers. If you have an issue with your card, be sure to contact support at narbox.com and we'll do our best to accommodate you. Thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for future tutorials.